Check, check. All right. Jesus Christ. We have, it has taken forever to get to this goddamn point. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, my God. Oh, man. It feels like it's been so long since I've been, I've done one of these podcasts. So, it's going to be, it might Chill. be a little bit of a uh, training wheels kind of thing for me. Hey, that's fine with me, man. So, uh, would you want to introduce yourself? Scott. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm good. So, normally I have uh, Aaron Naylor, who's my co host, but uh, Aaron is actually really busy right now because he's actually on tour in, I think, Ohio right now at the moment. On tour. Yeah. Uh, he's doing some comedy festivals and he's doing a bunch of different uh, different spots. Nice. Um, so, I have my buddy Scott. I'm Scott. Scott. And I'm here in the house. In the house, in the house, raise the roof, in the right? House for mouse. <laughs> uh, so, um, how are you, man? How- oh, I'm good. I mean, been been an easy day. Easy Keep, day. Got the shit rearranged for you. Oh my gosh! We're up yes. and running took well, took us long enough. Yeah, we uh, we started at what what six? <laughs> if that. Yeah, five yeah, thirty ish, <laughs> and then we it's almost eight o'clock now. So, but we're up and we're rolling. We're drinking. We're and we're ready it. to do a podcast, and doing a pod- we're recording my first podcast. Your, is this your very first podcast first ever? Podcast. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I don't even listen to podcasts. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> what? But I'm here now. What? Why don't you like listen to podcasts? Probably haven't found the right one. Mm. Also, yeah, have you heard of this? Uh, like have you heard of this podcast called the Beer and Friendship Show? I heard of it this one time. <laughs> this guy, one time, this guy at work. He was like. I do you. this podcast. Yeah, you. You need to come on and do and I said, me? my podcast. I'm like, you sure? Yeah. Here I am. And then here you are. He says he's got a few good things in store for me. Wouldn't let me see on the computer. Turned off the no, TV. I so turned... this is my first time seeing the TV right now. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's important. And um, so I don't know if you are um, very familiar with uh, a thing called meth thing called meth yes are you familiar with it i've heard of it okay i believe our state makes a little bit of like just a little just bit, a right? little bit of it like we it's dabble. not like it's the uh number one state in the number america. one thing in america right we, we dabble so there's yes. this video of this guy and he's on myth and he's telling us the story but the thing is like um First, he wants to. There's a little intro part to it, so you want to get like do an official intro, and then we can start this whole vlog Ooh, or this can, podcast. Not yeah, this we vlog. can do it, man. Okay, you ready? Let's so this is up. a little intro clip. All so right. um, enjoy. You ready? I'm ready. Hey, you might want to turn up the sound on this side. Let's do it. Like, let's try it one more time, guys. Let's do it a little bit louder. Let's do it. A little, yeah, let's do it. Oh, and stop. Two strokes, my brother didn't believe me. But when he smoked with me, he put in his dick, I couldn't believe how big his dick was. He jacked off in four strokes and shot the most cunning he ever shot in his life. He's only 49. Four strokes. <laughs> four strokes, he yeah. said. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, and that's how you start the show. Okay, yeah, I start my show <laughs> off with a nice little clip. Um, I'm I'm guessing you've never seen this video before. I've not seen this four stroke video as it's nicely labeled. Okay, apparently should have so, looked the name. So apparently there's this guy, and <clears throat> he's either in a. I think he's in a halfway house. He's either in a halfway house or he is just in the bathroom, and he's telling you about the story of. Him and his brother um, drinking off together on crystal meth. Yeah, yeah I mean that normal story. <laughs> normal <Bonding> stuff. Time. <laughs> no. So like <laughs> you have siblings, and I'm you did crystal meth with them, right? I have two siblings. None of us have ever done meth, <laughs> and if we had, we sure as shit wouldn't be sharing our stories online. Is that a MacBook Pro he's on? How did he get that? I don't know. Oh, no, that's uh. Oh, that's you. That's yeah. Your MacBook Pro. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you want to start from the beginning and watch this whole oh, yeah. video? Oh, that was that was just, that was a, just highlight. a highlight of it. He's going to give us the full story. The full story. Four stroke video. All right, let's turn up the sound a little bit. Gotcha. Right. Okay. If you've had any kind okay. of erectile disorder problems, I'm here to tell you. For 
forget that Viagra, forget about salads, forget that dick and plants and all that stuff. You want to plow me? Yeah. I, you what to do. I can control it on the volume at that point here. Okay, I'll just leave it there. Okay. I don't know if you believe me or not, but if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick, it doesn't get harder in way. I can watch it get harder and harder. The more I smoke, the harder my So he's going to smoke meth yes. to get hard? A hard, yes. And we're watching this video. <laughs> well, no. Okay. Well, no, he this, no, he's <laughs> he's telling you that he's going to do a show in a couple of days. Oh. And he's like so he's hey, advertising. Yeah, he's advertising this and he's letting you know that like hey, like in a couple of days like if you want to see me with a small limp dick and then get Here real hard by doing crystal meth. I'm like, your man. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm your guy. <laughs> okay. I I'm, I'm I'm the showman that will do this. He's the showman. Well, let's see. Well, I hope we don't see what he's got, but let's see the, his video. Okay. <laughs> Who is it? I'd like to know who he's sending this to. Like, everyone. He's just letting he's letting you know, he's letting me know. He's he's informing everyone who watches this podcast now mm. that if you do crystal meth, like you, you asked me earlier why I don't watch podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> or, or listen. <laughs> is this why? Stuff like this? this is because this is the weird <laughs> so, shit. So far, this guy is the reason. <laughs> uh, but, but let's, let's see. Dick. Dick, hot, white cum. More cum and I never did my life. And I know I'm gay. I love to get blowjobs. Sorry, are you gay? Do you like to give, do you like to give blowjobs or get blowjobs? Pass? <laughs> Met a guy at work who said he didn't like getting blowjobs. I yes. believe that was the first. And he was a black guy, too. I've never met a black man to ever Wasn't say. even asked. Wasn't asked about it. Yeah. He brought it up just like, oh, by the way. He's like, just by the way. I think you and I both kind of like, what? You know, what? <laughs> like, what? What are you doing? Why, like, why don't you like blowjobs? Like, they're like the best thing. There's no work. You just, just sit there. You just enjoy it. Like, someone is literally going out of their way. To, to please For you, you. Uh, yeah. yeah, like why would you not enjoy a BJ? In my opinion, even if you don't like him for whatever reason, don't be like. By the way, it, stop your conversation. <laughs> not a blowjob. Guy. <laughs> like you give me one, I'll be like, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, pass. I won't appreciate it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> this guy, however, he's keen on him because <laughs> he's gay giving and yeah. getting. <laughs> So you've given me <laughs> shit on Game of Thrones. <laughs> okay, yes. And you're talking because a brother's banging his sister. Like, yes. First of all, in the fake time period of Game of Thrones, that is semi-acceptable. You, you mean Game of Thongs. Game, Game of Thongs, thongs Game of yeah. Thongs, yes. With the dragons still. With something. the dragons, yeah. There's dra And the girls that's wearing a thong, you yeah, know. Exactly. Yes, but this guy. It? Yes, this guy. Who's jerking off and, with the, next to his brother or his brother jerking off next to him. In the same room. Like, if and we he were like gay, yes. which I think makes it worse. Because then you're potentially attracted to your own brother. brother. And you give me shit for but, Game of Thrones. The, the thing is, like, if okay, okay, so if if they are in the same room and they they are and both they naked, and they hide it by the way, and they're they are very secretive about their the love instance. affair. Yeah, very secretive. This guy's Still. posting it to the world. He's like, "Come on in, brother, <laughs> actual brother." <laughs> <laughs> I got something to show yeah. you. <laughs> Try this shit. But the thing don't. is, like, if there was going to be any kind of incest that's going to happen, this would be the best kind because it's brother on brother. Because there's no chance of like reproduction. Reproduction. Oh, I don't know to yeah, what degree of like fetish this gets into, but that seems like the absolute worst kind. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know where that would end. I'm not getting it, but that's just right off the bat. Brother on brother is so far down on my list. Like it does not exist. Uh -huh. no, no, <laughs> no, not something. No, not anything. I don't have a brother. That's true. Okay. So maybe, maybe you did. Maybe my opinion is irrelevant. Who knows if I had a brother? <laughs> true. Maybe. So would still like to. Assume pretty, pretty low. It's pretty of, down here. Probably out of focus, oh. but. He's only 49, and he's fine. He has no neuropathy problems at all. 
but his dick is even harder and thicker and even more cum. He believes me now. I'm not here to tell you to do anything illegal. I don't want you to do anything illegal. I don't want you to do anything you don't feel comfortable doing. But I promise you. I promise you. If you can find anybody you know that won't get you into trouble, smoke some meth. The more you smoke off that bowl, the harder your dick will get. Some guys get a small that don't get it helps them not to get a hard on. Some guys like me, it's a proven fact. Your dick will get hard. Proven so fact, he says. <laughs> Okay, so this is something that's actually been, in, like, I've actually really been, like, thinking about a lot. Have you noticed people, like, in the food industry always have, like, these random facts that, like, like, like you know, like, you know, at point zero zero eight seconds, like, when the Earth banged, like, you know, like, there was, like, this cosmetic, like, function which actually caused gravity. And at that point, which actually caused a black hole. And you're like, oh, that's cool. And, like, they, and, like, and, like, they act like they're so smart with this stuff. It's like, <laughs> like, but you're cooking food like we're just cooking food like why you're would you hear why yeah you're here why <laughs> and so like when he says something like that that is a proven fact it's like yeah like look at him he looks like he has like a legit understanding of oh i don't doubt the legitimacy <laughs> of his story that's not what i'm questioning i'm questioning the thought process behind <laughs> the story a and then the thought of i'm gonna share it b i'd like to think in any world where you're doing that with your brother you're not sharing that with people and he's just like YouTube needs to know well, this story. Well, once this is done, we have 24 seconds. I'll show you another great love story of equal equal quality quality of like <laughs> the same type of. Uh, We're talking Game of Thrones here. Incest. Ga- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. <Yeah. laughs> Game of Thrones. We allowed to say that? Game of Thongs? Yeah. Oh, Game of Thongs. Yeah. Game That's of what thongs. I've been saying the whole time. Yeah. Well, I call it Game of Thongs. Oh. Just because, like, but can I say well, I guess the, the girl I used to date, she used to love that show. And so I used to call, oh, you mean the Game of Thongs show? <laughs> <laughs> and so. The, and she liked that. Oh, yeah. She loved it because she had such a great sense of humor. And that's why we're still together. <laughs> <laughs> That bothers me a bit. If you say yes, I'll show it to you. The majority will win. If the majority says no, you'll never hear from me again. Just let me know. Okay? <laughs> He's taking a poll now. Like if you want to see the next video or not. <laughs> I'd have to assume that did not pass. No. What's this next one you got for me here? Okay, so I'll show you this next one. So, um. Oh no, it stopped recording. So that's good to know. So I was recording. Now it's going to be strictly just audio at this point now. Uh, so we can like take our clothes off and get the. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The beer. Yeah. And um, yeah. And so like, so I was trying to film something and I was trying to see how long I could shoot on my, on one of my cameras. Well, I just realized I can't shoot that long now. And so now this is going to be just strictly just audio at this point. So if you're still watching, thank you so much. Now you're just going to be listening. Um, so, this is all audio based anyway. This, um, all this stuff. So, I'm interested about this next video though. So, um, there's this thing that happens when I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit of, of a fact on something. So, there's this thing that happens when uh, a mother and a son, or a mother and like a daughter, or a dad, or a daughter. If they're separated and then they come back together, like later on in life, they can fall in love with each other. Okay. Or they can get attracted to each other because there was never that ground or that basis built as like that you're my mother and I'm your son and vice versa. And so this is a story of a son and mother. Be careful what you get here. And, um, Mm. You're looking for trouble when you type that in, I do believe. I'm going I'm just trying to find it online. I'm trying to um son and mother. Oh. Ooh, what'd they get arrested for? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Well, we were watching a little bit of a podcast earlier, and they were showing sex toys, so I guess we're just going. I got it. You got it? Well, today's show, Media with the Conversation Pro. 
So there was a video that we posted. Okay, we're better than that guy. Page. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to that. So pretty much this, <laughs> <laughs> so this mother and this, uh, this mother and this son, they were separated, and then they came back. Because like, what's so funny is that there's a video. Yeah, there it is. I told Carlos that um, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know how you react to this. I'm your mom, and you're my son, and I am falling in love with him. He said, are you really? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know what? I was scared to let you know, too. I am, too. He was 36 and 19, and, and this this is the birth mother then, uh, falling in love with her child. Her. Yeah. And you know what's so great is like the matching the matching uh, face tattoo on the oh. cheek, yeah. but it's on different sides. Hmm. Hmm. This, these are my people. That picture doesn't look like it. That looks like that could size. be me. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to cut my hair, that guy is pretty light skin. Yeah. He's still darker than I am, but he's st- he, there's there's still that still facial structure that we have that same. Oh God, my my people are gross and sometimes too. We end up asking, "Will you ever date your mom?" And he said, "Will you date your son?" I said, "I'm." So, would would you ever date your mom? Uh, no. Why? Uh, I came out of her. Can't go in her. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know where this story's going. I assume it's there, and no, I like, know. Yeah, I hope your videos get a little more clean cut after this I one. Really want to be with them. It's kind of hard right You're now, on, and you like make fun of Game of Thrones we, in your top two videos. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> what about it? What's wrong with it? Mother and a son. What? Well, what more needs to be said? What's wrong with them? I. What's wrong with love? I mean, this is an honest show, right? Yeah. Like I had a mother. I don't have the same issues you got. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. See, that's an adoption joke. That's that was that was nice. You know what's funny? Um, <laughs> when I was growing up, people used to call me Dumbo because they because of my ears, and they said I'd never know who my real dad is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> See why you worked out. You had to, you had to shut. I those have to. Yeah, up. I have to shut that up, and like I have to compensate for all the lack of love I've ever gotten from anything. Moving on. All right. <laughs> um. So yeah. Oh, that that's it of the video. Or are you gonna watch all four? No, 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 no. I, no, no. I, I think get it. You got the you got the gist like of it. They're both interested in each other, and they're willing to do an interview on it. I, I can uh, I can see where that's going, and we don't need to go there. We want to keep your, your show real clean. Can't see the hand, but real clean. <laughs> now this one's still rolling, right? So, yeah, it's still rolling. Okay. Um, so there, I had a question. Why? There's something that I'm in a group chat with you, Scott, mm-hmm. and with some other people from work. And there was something I discovered quite recently that I thought was really worth sharing. What was that? And I don't understand. Like, you were so against this one thing. You got to stop that because that's <laughs> awful. So you were super against it. Yeah, yeah I was. Um, first, I should probably t- explain what it is. So there's yeah, this, you, there's this thing. Camera. You got to explain what it is to the folks. There's this thing. Juanito. It's jewelry. And it's not expensive. There's some of it that can be expensive. Most of it's only like 20 bucks. I see a little one for seven bucks. I uh, see a nice one so for eighteen. There's this animal called a raccoon, and Wait. raccoons have some of them have penises, and within those penises, there's a bone. Apparently, there's people that take that bone and they make a necklace out of it. And I shared this because I thought this was a quite interesting thing. Mm-hmm. And Scott had absolutely... On a very active group message, <laughs> it went silent. <laughs> like, we message, on average, anywhere from 10 to 20 things a day. And he said this. I literally don't think the next message was to, like, two days later. Yeah. <laughs> it was just done. Like, ghost town. <laughs> Scared us all out. Why? Like, large raccoon He paint. got absolutely livid that i didn't make a comment on it and yes. i said too much for me and thought it was fake i have since realized it's a real item but i still question why <laughs> and for 18 dollars, it's not even like an exclusive like if it's so rare to like holy shit it's a redneck toothpick 
Mm. If I buy you that toothpick <laughs> and then I buy you a steak, will you clean your teeth with a raccoon penis? Is the would, question. You <laughs> would you rather? Would you rather? Would you rather? All right. All right. Have to never brush your teeth ever again, Ooh. or the only way you can clean your mouth is with a raccoon penis toothbrush. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, redneck tooth toothpick. Man, I couldn't imagine the stinky breath though. Like never again. I mean, that's or no, you can only brush your teeth once a month. I feel like you're still good. I feel like you're still gonna have the same level of awful mouth. Oh man, I I guess I'd have to get over the raccoon penis. I mean, it's not a real penis. Probably fake anyway for eighteen dollars. Let's be honest. Yeah, I, e- eighteen dollars. I don't expect that to be an authentic raccoon, raccoon penis. penis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why not? Like, you I, brought the, all right. You brought this back up. <laughs> all right, I see. I see how you are. <laughs> like, I never uh, like it's. It's a legitimate thing, but like, if you bought that for a woman, I feel like she'd run away. Oh, I have no doubt. You and can I would almost ex- like hope her. Like, if she didn't, <laughs> I would be concerned. Like, well, like no, you're you're not as normal as I thought. Let's never mind. I'm. If you accept the raccoon penis as a normal gift, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this coon, is this is weird. Coon dick earrings. <laughs> Seven fifty five. No tax. Coon dick earrings. It's a steal. Now, th- so is that like they're taking baby coons and cutting there? Baby raccoons. <laughs> right. Man, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Did you ever confront Taylor about that? No, I didn't because I haven't seen her that much. Yeah, she'd been holidays messed the whole schedule up. I know. Juanito. So let's see. Oh, were you? One of your tabs said raccoon penis. The next one said large raccoon blink i couldn't see the rest were you looking up large raccoon penises mm-hmm. versus small yeah why would i fair enough that coon coon dick earrings <laughs> i just <laughs> think that's an awesome title for a uh, for the podcast oh that's that's gonna be the yeah that at least get like the um, they'll at least get someone to like, like, like the inquisitive what the fuck? like what what, what do they... the fuck does that mean coon yeah coon dick so earrings. i was making fun of that podcast earlier because it had the pussy boobs yeah. Like no other body parts, just right there mm-hmm. with the mouth. They had like an actual mouth with teeth or artificial rubber, I hope, teeth. Yeah. And I thought that was pretty weird. And within, I don't know, 20 minutes of this thing, we're here on raccoon penises thinking we're just as weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But this is the whole point because uh, this is awesome. Talking about raccoon penises, like that, the fact that this is like an actual thing. Like it's an actual. It's a real thing, and it's a toothpick. Like there are multiple buyers. Well, I guess ESTY is pretty common, but multiple ways to buy. Oh, you got a raccoon penis necklace. Raccoon penis. More necklace. <laughs> Jesus. All right, you win. That's a that's a fully sprayed across her chest. <laughs> Penis. Congratulations, lady. You got a penis on your chest. And you paid for it. So, would you rather, for Christmas... Okay. Like, hypothetical, you're married. You can never give your wife a single present for anything. Okay. And, like, it pisses her off. Or you could give her one raccoon penis. Necklace. Yeah. Nice. I mean, nice. Like... like, Real nice. Like, at least like two hundred dollars spent. Like, like three. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollar raccoon penis versus no present ever. Would you okay. even give a raccoon penis? Like I feel like that'd be worse than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like it wouldn't help, would it? I would love to do it as a gag gift. I think it'd be hilarious as a gag I gift. I feel like she might kick you in your non raccoon penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, yes. Very likely. Oh yeah, I would. You got a cup on it. I figured. <laughs> I would assume. I would assume that that would happen. Uh, but it I'm almost s- looks like a fishing hook right there. You think I could go fishing with a raccoon penis? Yeah. You think it's hard? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure a- it's probably difficult. It's a little more difficult than normal. Hmm. Oh, no. I was talking about like the actual necklace. You think the necklace is hard? Like, is it a solid thing? I, w- I would assume so. Because it's a bone, right? Yeah. It's not like you can't save the actual raccoon penis. 
Interesting. What what you got next for me? Let's move on from raccoon penis. Okay. Oh, on to our ard rack. <laughs> Do you want to stay on uh, raccoons, or um? Do you want to move on to something else? Because I have another video I could show you about raccoons. You got a video of raccoons. I have a video of a raccoon. Let's see it. You got me intrigued. If it's raccoon penis, I'm not going to be as intrigued. But we'll see where you go. Okay, so there was this... There was this uh, raccoon in Florida Graphic content. that uh, decided to go head to head against a iguana, and like a like a big old lizard. Yeah, mm. like a big old lizard. Okay, and we'll play this um, video. so this is what happened. This is get him. Well, yeah, that thing doesn't have a tail right off the yeah. bat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Should I stop the fight? Yeah, you should. Go <laughs> save the little guy. Why? Why? Look at the little lizard. He does not. So. Oh. Oh, he's he's accepting it, isn't he? Oh, look at his his tail's not accepting <laughs> shit. His <laughs> tail is putting up a fight, even though it's twenty feet away. <laughs> I love how the raccoon just like backs it out. Like he's I'm just like this is mine. <laughs> wow. He just took that raccoon for a little for a little ride. <laughs> raccoons or a little lizard why would you want to save it because it's an iguana iguanas are way more important than raccoons think about that I and mean, raccoons are cool little guys i get it they look nice they look cute but they're little monsters they get in your trash they destroy shit what's, i have what, a what's an iguana ever done i have a scar right here that's from a raccoon see not an iguana <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no dude raccoons are the they're vicious they can get vicious as fuck especially if you like if they think they're about to get killed <laughs> which i was about to do what'd you what'd you do run up on a raccoon i ran up on a raccoon cornered it and then like i had a stick in my hand like a big like axe stick and like S- like would, an actual stick or like it was an a- like, like garbage stick. I would say it was more like just a stick that like I duct taped like a very sharp metal object to. <laughs> so you made a little spear, an yeah. impromptu spear, and you're and going got, after him. And the thing is, like, I stabbed one once because I snuck up on it, and like this was during the summertime because I would get in the trash at the job that I had, and so. I got one. I snuck up on it and I just like whacked it and I got it and I stabbed it and then it <laughs> ran off. But then this other one, they kind of catch on. They're pretty smart animals and nice. And so this other one, I cornered it. And I was gonna kill it. I was gonna try to kill it because I want to set. A, I want to set an example because I was gonna kill one and then I was gonna crucify it. And I put it up like Jesus. I was gonna eat one. I was like, don't do that. No, no. <laughs> I, I was gonna make a uh, toothpick out of it. So <laughs> get the bigger, get the bigger male of the two and make it. Make a necklace out of yeah. them. And, uh, Money to be made. But uh, when I was, uh, when it was like going and it ran, when I was about to hit it, it ran between my legs and I, I moved out of the way and I lost my balance and I fell on the ground and I cut my, my forearm and I have a scar on my forearm now. So you it. fought the raccoon and, and the raccoon won? Yeah, I won that round. <laughs> won I'll that. give it but that. You got, it, you got his brother. Yeah. So probably doing meth and jerking off mm-hmm. with their big raccoon penis. But like my boss that's is like whole story. That's that's how you do it right mm-hmm. there, folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's how that's and that's how the cookie was crumbled. So you've had you got one raccoon death on your on your conscience. Well, right I now? don't think I killed it. I might have just hurt it severely. Mm. So you made it like a handicap raccoon. Yeah. So it probably no did way die. that thing survived. <laughs> I really, what I really wanted to they do. They already eat trash when they're fully healthy, John. <laughs> I know, but what I really wanted to do was when it was, uh, when they were all like, when they kept eating in the trash can, I wanted to put out rat poison oh. and, and some food and then kill it. But then I read online that like what that does is then like other animals will eat that raccoon body and they get sick and then everything else. So you'd have like five deaths. Yeah. On you. So I'm like, I can't do that. Like butterfly effect. A little bit. Surprisingly good movie. Nobody likes though. No? I liked it. It was all right. <laughs> it was okay. Like I'm like I'm like like it wasn't Ashton Kutcher's best movie, but it was decent. Not arguing, but what was Ashton Kutcher's best movie then? Spread. Uh oh. 
Not gonna like me, folks. Not seeing that one. Spread. Was it Ash? Is that how you saw? I have no clue. It's gonna bring it up. Well, not with the J. Asian, Asian J. <laughs> A S T H. There it is. Not, oh, uh, spread. yeah, spread. You got it. You got a, a solid six out of ten on IMDb. Five point nine. Five point nine, folks. Not even a six. See Rotten can... Tomatoes said twenty-one, and they're way more accurate. Oh God! That's not Los Angeles, California. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. If I could do a little more raspy right now, I would, but I just can't. He's like a he's like a <laughs> Math McConaughey light kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know where this car is going, but I like driving it, folks. <laughs> I like doing those things, you know, uh, wearing scarves and kissing women. Oh, yeah. I, can't remember. I remember watching this movie, and I was like, yeah, this is a really good movie. And, like, they do anal, and it's, like, really interesting. Like, they don't show anything like that, but it's still. Okay, well, you got my end. Like, they did anal. <laughs> pause. <laughs> Dramatic pause. They didn't show anything, no. <laughs> just saying. They just did anal, that's all. Very fun. interesting. Very interesting. It was just one of those things. That's funny. But, no, I'm, I want to watch this preview now. Matthew McConaughey Jr. has my attention. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, spread. That was a... Oh, 09. Yeah. That's back when movies were weird. That's 10 years now. Yeah, exactly 10 years. Whoa. Happy New Year, by the way. I guess it is... Hap- it is 19. Uh, yeah. Wrote a check for rent. Got it right. Felt like a baller. First time. Nice. You don't have to rewrite another check. No. Do you well, have I to do that sometimes? I but, wouldn't have rewritten it. I would have just... Made it a weird eight or a weird nine. No. Wait a minute. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's even the Matthew McConaughey look. You can't see it. Yeah. It's there. It's like he's just about to figure out that big clue in True Detective. But he's not quite there. Yeah. Or he's about to fart. Same look. Same look. <laughs> it's very similar. It's a very similar look. And, um, hmm. What's your um? So, what's your opinion on like women yes. farting? Oh, women farting. Don't have a lot of experience with it. Either, well, I don't. I try not to fart in front of women, so I think Why? they kind of mirror. Well, I told you the the blowjob story. Like everyone, the oh, whole yeah. thing. I tried. It was like I had the whole. Anyway, um, women fart in front of me. Not a fan. Not not a deal breaker. I mean, everyone farts. I'm going to fart in front of them. Everybody farts. I get it. But if she's going to, like, go out of her way, like, you know, Pop-Tarts, he would go out of his, like, he'd lock, like load up and go, <laughs> Oh. Like, if she's doing, like, We're ready fuck to off. go. Like, fuck off. You want to tell a little, you want to tell the story about Pop-Tart? That's all, that's the only name he gets. He's, that's only, his name is Pop-Tart. Oh, man. We're, can we, we should have him call in. We're going to have to at least have him call in sometime. Good old Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. Man, he's going to love that nickname, too. Uh, let's see. It's a great nickname, Pop Tart. Uh, the ho- the holiday party we went to, he had a light up sweater mm-hmm. with a beer pouch attached to the sweater. So I mean, at all time, he has a bottle of beer in like in his belly and one in his hand, and he's not that big of a drinker. He's getting there. He used to be he used to be like two three beers and be drunk, and that's not true anymore. But good old Pop Tarts. I can't remember the last time I only drank like two beers. Yeah, like drunk. like literally, he never drank beer, and then we we got him to slowly start drinking. He'd drink like two, he'd be like, Wee! like a little high school girl, like drunk <laughs> on her smearing off, like just looking for the show, like nice. just wants the attention. Nice, that's funny. Pop tart, you yeah, want, good old pop tart. You want to tell him the wedding, the um, oh, the the vows. Yeah, yeah. This is a great would. story. This this sums up who Pop Tart really is as a man, at least from what I know of Pop Tart as well. well. Well, first of all, this was wedding. He asked me to be best man, but I know absolutely nobody <coughs> on that like that was going to be in the wedding, so I passed. So I was the next guy in the wedding party. Right. But anyway, the b- oh, best man speech was garbage. That that's all you need to know about a wedding is the best man speech. Mm-hmm. She give a good one. The wedding is made. 
But Pop-Tarts, in his speech, talked about how uh, he knew she was the one because when he ate Pop-Tarts in bed and there were crumbs, she was okay with it. She, she didn't give him shit. He also really, really liked her because she could always find the stuff he lost. Those were the first two lines in vows. <laughs> like, <laughs> like there was no emotional buildup. There. Like I'm not an emotional guy, but you got to be a little more deep in shit than that. <laughs> That's my favorite line. <laughs> got to be deep in shit. And that, talking about Pop-Tarts in bed. I read the first one. I was like, all right, where's your real one? <laughs> I was like, this is a joke, right? He's like, no. I was no, like, this is what I have. I just... Like, I was like, if you if I read this, I'm just going to critique every single thing on this. I handed it back. It's back. This <laughs> so is here yours. here you go. Good, good luck. Have fun. Uh, and then the bride proceeded to read off her three-page vows of no uh, no jokes, no nothing, uh, of dryness. Straight love. And he was he, he looks to the car and goes, I didn't know she had that speech. <laughs> like he, he was like, okay, I gave a paragraph. Uh, if that. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> Like, oh man! All the thoughts like I, I like that you make money. I like that you clean the house. <laughs> I like that. I know that you'll never like want do anything. To leave, leave me. You know, I straight well. told you I'll probably cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay with that. Yeah. This is uh, how it is. <laughs> we'll have to get him to call and he'll he'll like this. Oh he man! Talking. Nice. How long have you known? How long have you known Pop Tart? Because he's like one of your high school friends, right? Yep. Uh, high school golf. He used to call me Scott Richardson, man. I actually didn't like him at first. Really? We weren't friends. Really? Had to get past. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But uh, we bonded over similar interests in college mm -hmm. <laughs> and went from there. Went from there? Yeah, didn't plan to go to the same college. It happened. Oh, okay. roommates or anything. Just went to a party before college. We're like, oh, where are you going? Oh. What up, we'll, man? We'll be friends. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. Went on from there. Talking about friendship, because this show is the Beer drinking and Friendship buddies, Show yeah. and Drinking Friends. And, and I like am this. drinking. I haven't seen you take a drink in a while. I've been drinking. All right. I've been drinking. Well, I got an empty sitting here. Oh, I'm still on my first one. <laughs> I guess our third one or whatever you want to look at it. Um, so one of the key things about the show is that uh, the reason why it's called the Beer and Friendship Show is because we Beer and friendship. we have friendship. And I have pe people that I, I look at as friends on. Yes. And what we do is we talk about how you and I became friends or how you and I met because we met in a weird circumstance that yes. most people would not or would be at this point with. Uh, obviously, the location is obvious. We work at the same restaurant together. Yeah. No, no doubt about that. The exact story of how we became friends, I'm guessing it was a quick realization that every other soul in that building is a dumb fuck. <laughs> but it Very. could have been an individual bonding moment. <laughs> I don't know that. But it was... Quickly, okay, this person understands this, and does... The, the owner of this restaurant is confused by the concept of talking and joking around while also working. Yes. Apparently their people are not <laughs> Capable. intellectually uh, inclined oh, enough man. to do that. Because the amount of times that we get... We, we just get the dirty looks. Oh. We get told that the passive aggressive we sayings. Get torn our, we get our asses torn off. And we're like, we're the only productive people you had here. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, what like, are you dude, doing? Dude, just said we're fucking around <laughs> and we're still getting this shit yeah. done. Like you see us fucking <laughs> around and we're still the best at what, you, at what we're doing. Other than we can, Matt, if Matt's listening, Matt, Matt, you're a stud. You are a stud. And uh, I wish you would work in the morning. I don't understand. He has another job or does he just not want to work in the mornings? Cause, I'm pretty sure he lives at home. Dude, I want to know so much about. There, we have this guy named Matt who works with us, and beautiful beard, beautiful, beautiful. But he's Ladies, the quiet, this beard. <laughs> he's the quietest man I've ever met in my life. Absolutely, Will so soft. He's like, uh, can I can? Hey. Yeah, I I begged him to yell at me. Like most, like I would love to yell at people on a normal day. Right. And I begged him just like yell an order at me. Yeah, I need an onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why won't you be louder? You're a lead, man. Like, 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 you know, <laughs> and he knows what he's doing. He's he's a rock. But, yeah, like the amount of times that we just get like people just. You, Linda. Oh, dude, Linda has been like this lady has been ass. ripping my asshole. Like she's I, one of the I owners. I even scratched my head in front of her. on. Like I even thought about it with the glove on just to see. She didn't say anything. Meanwhile, this guy thinks about scratching <laughs> his head with no glove on. Go wash your hands right now. Like, what? <laughs> like, I wasn't... Are you... Fuck off. <laughs> like, 
And sometimes I'm just like, I, I, I'm just like, I, I'm just what the, what, 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 what the fuck did I just do? No, they don't. It'd be funny if like Phil watches, like follows your shit, and he's like, oh, these fucking douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching them jack off this whole time. Yeah. I'm gonna get them, dude. I don't. They have at least twenty to thirty cameras in our restaurant. We are on camera at all times. And the owner smokes so many cigarettes that he can't walk while he's doing it. So he watches us closely. Yeah. <laughs> and calls it out on yeah. things that you know he only saw on the camera, which is really awkward. <laughs> but what's so funny is, like, if he could walk around and smoke a cigarette, he definitely would. But he can't. He can't. You're not allowed to be in the public with that cigarette, Mr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I, will never, I will never forget the moment... The real moment when I realized that you you understood where I was coming from was when he was like, John, do you know how long it takes to set up the line, set up everything, like do all the pr- like stuff that we prep up and like make sure everything's good to yeah, go. So when we have like running. lunch, yeah. this is for people who don't know, but it's like basically we're getting the whole line set up for lunch Ooh, rush yeah. and food and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't, I'm like, I know the answer. It's like 40, 45 minutes at the most if you have two lines open right right to set the whole thing up that's how long it should take and i'm like i don't know how long does it take sir and he's like <laughs> he said it takes 30 minutes and i'm like okay i look up i think he's 20 minutes in maybe yeah 25 <laughs> yeah baby and i'm like uh, and, uh-huh and you, you literally just said you were finishing things like you were doing like extra like little stuff like yeah. i don't have to do this but i got done so fast i have time to do this now. yeah i can do the little teeny <laughs> tiny like anal stuff like that you normally could just do at the last moment and do they are on me all the time but i i i look at it as they are never on me because you're white (laughs) i think it is you are white enough i'm i'm white to a point but like i i do i know i should never said said anything they wouldn't have known i know they would have never (laughs) known but But you know how weird that would have been no it might be because i'm white though yeah (laughs) they do like drew and there's no other reason to like drew (laughs) (laughs) yeah He's a diligent worker who doesn't think for himself. I do think that's what they like, so I yes. take it back. There's reasons that they would like him. Yeah, yes. <laughs> a, a, a place like trap. that. A Guys, place like been that would like years. him. Okay, I'll clean the grease trap. Yeah. Like, why? My like, God. Like, it's an interesting place, but it pays good for what it is. and it's. Oh, yeah. It pays. Get those tips, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid real good there for what it is and what you do and mindless. And mindlessness. Like, if you can just get past it. What sucks is, like, for me, is like, I. We'll be sitting there at between like one thirty and three, and I'm just standing there. I'm like trying not to fall asleep. I'm like literally falling asleep because it's so bored sometimes because it's so slow. If we're not getting any rush or anything like that in the kitchen, so yeah, we have a uh, we have some significant downtime that they seem to not care about at all. Every time I bring up like even a question like, "You ever thought about doing promotions or adding?" like significant things to get people in? oh no 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 we like these three hours of three customers in the restaurant <laughs> <laughs> like, like why like we have more staff than customers for like three straight hours that's not acceptable yeah, like, not, like why see, now i get why i feel so angry yeah well i think i think maybe that's why i think now we're starting to get like full circle cut a little bit more he likes me though i think he knows i'm a thinker Phil? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he'd never acknowledge it. Oh, no. Because he's such an <laughs> asshole. He would just be slightly less of a dick to me than other people. But what? he also seems like Drew, which I don't get. What? But he doesn't really talk to anybody. No. So that's hard to tell. Except this guy. Except this guy. I'm pointing to myself. <laughs> for those who can't see, which is apparently everyone. <laughs> because the can- the big camera, the, yeah. bat- the, um, the car is full now. Oh, okay. And the other one I just never turned on again because – and oh, um, fair so enough. I was like, nah, we're good. I was like, I'll just <laughs> do a little good. bit of video that we have. And, like, there was a funny little thing that I got at the end so I could be able to use that to promote and we'll be good me. to go. So that's all I need. So Works for me. We're just doing all audio now. Um, but, yeah, so I'm doing up this podcast again. Uh, so some people might be wondering – John, like what happened? I thought you were you guys were doing this podcast and like you and Aaron took a little break. We took a hiatus um, and then Aaron started getting really busy with his comedy stuff and I got really busy with my film stuff and vlogging and the vlogging led to more of uh, gigs than with the gigs led to me having to 
uh, do that instead of having time to do a podcast. Reprioritize your time. And so long story short, Aaron and I, uh, we still like, it's like we are just, our con- our schedules are so weird at this point because we're doing two different things because we're artists doing two different artistical things and it's just difficult sometimes. But he will be on at times, but most likely what it's going to be is that uh, I am going to have a special guest or I'm going to be doing this by myself or I'm going to have Scott over here because I, I feel like Scott is going to be my go-to guy. Go-to. Because like, you can um, – I can just show you videos and you will just like kind of rip on them. That's what I, I do. Like. Maybe and one day you'll let me do uh, your videos live on here. One of my vlogs yeah. or like one of the – You've sat through that. Do you want the – the whole world to see that though. Oh man, of like we, he didn't cry, and that's impressive, folks. No, I laugh at most of it because <laughs> no, I'm like, yeah, because it's like it's funny. He I'm like, yeah, it that makes so sense. Well. It's like it's so awesome to like. His car, however, is a bigger star than him. Folks. It really is. My car is. Watch this. Watch them all again. Watch for that burgundy Honda. <laughs> <laughs> it's in every fucking video. <laughs> Everyone I've ever made. It's the weirdest thing. I guess I assume most people who listen also watch. Yeah, I would assume. Um, even if you're not, um, my YouTube is John D. Clouser. Um, it will also be in the description. The link to that will be very as entertaining well. um, videos, folks. Yes, I don't podcast or watch like individual streamers on YouTube. We spend I don't know solid hour hour and a half of just watching him talk and he didn't like it he didn't like listening to himself but i wanted to keep watching and, and that tells you like if i wanted to watch it it's entertaining shit what the, and you're more interested the, in the like a you gotta go locations. to the the mansion like the abandoned mansion one that's an yeah. excellent one. Oh, the one in uh the one in branson yeah yeah that, i probably ripped on you for that one but i ripped more on the establishment of that they have the infrastructure in the frame of approximately 20 gorgeous mansions, but they don't have a road. They have a sewage system that zigzags for like eight miles, and it's just like, no. I'm an econ major, know nothing about this business, but a sewer line does not zigzag, folks. But yeah, if you watch his channel on YouTube, it's worth a watch. Well, I'm sure there's other videos, but that's the first one that came to mind. I like the... You did an abandoned theme park. That one was entertaining. Mm. I like that one. The racetrack one where he almost got busted. That one was fun. Yeah. Even telling the story you could tell. He was he was a little worried about that one. Yeah. <laughs> he it was he was aware you shouldn't have been and he knew it. Yeah, <laughs> but that was like my highest viewed one. That's been well, nice. no, that, so like that's that makes sense. The most raw, like raw uh, quote unquote best video I've made, I guess. Did you show how you got there though? Yeah, that's the thing is like you, you, your things were like the weirdest things, which I, I understand. But I'm like, okay, I get it. Well, I'm not a theater or a, what was your major? Film. Film. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like the opposite of film. I'm econ. I want the sensible stuff. Like, yeah. show me the equation of how this makes sense, and I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, why are you cutting past so much stuff? I'm like, because I just don't think it's necessary to tell. And you're like, that's all I wanted to know. No. Yeah. <laughs> like that was it. <laughs> What did you do? The original Domino's and you didn't even smell the building. Yeah. Upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Upsetting. Like, I get that that sounds childish and stupid, but that building, you know it smells like pizza. And yeah. you didn't even take a whiff. And you were there. You did all the hard work and then just go. <laughs> <laughs> but I did go there. So, so that, And that's the cool part. No, I like that video. I, I love the drone work. You do excellent segments with the drone your camera work is exceptional thank you so much sir because i really if you were a little I more entertaining <laughs> <laughs> if you were a little bit more you know like personable then you wouldn't have to go to all these crazy places you could just do you doing cool camera shots yeah because missouri we're at kansas city we city of fountains do one on the fountains oh yeah I've youtube video that. 109 idea fountains fountains flyovers fountains fountains <laughs> <laughs> Drones, fountains, fountains. <laughs> cool cutaways, <laughs> red Honda, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it'll go, and that's how it'll be. So, I think it's about time to do our favorite or my favorite segment of this oh. of this podcast. Are you ready? So we have this thing called yeah. You've heard of Craigslist, right? Of course. Okay, of course. so Craigslist good stuff on there. Um, Craigslist has a thing called misconnections. You told me this earlier. I thought you yes. were joking. No, this is a real thing. This is a real 
this is a real thing they have on Craigslist, which is called misconnections. And what it is is pretty much someone who has like a connection with somebody or thinks they have a connection with somebody. Guy but, at the pump. <laughs> but they they are not uh, they're not able to uh, interact with that person at the moment and get maybe their phone number or oh, like right. say like hey this is how I feel about you oh, and so now the they're writing onto this on Craigslist and saying hopefully that that person will this read is how it they're find their soulmate. yeah so what we do is once. we there's always creative titles like the titles write themselves the stories write themselves these are things that you can literally if i were to take one of these little things i could make a hot story. handy man <laughs> so what we do is we go on here and i i, I what i want to do is my podcast might not reach a lot of people but i hope that the people that do reach it might be the someone who had a misconnection and i can help them Ooh. so that's the whole reason why i do this is i'm Love trying to help dr people. juanito checking in yeah, correct so are you ready to uh, dive into the world of misconnections, misconnections on Craigslist? Misconnections, here we go. All right. Let's see so here we go. Um, these are all from today. And uh, just tell me which one you like. If there's a title oh, that you guy like. Guy at the pump. Guy could, at the pump. I could be the guy at the pump. Okay. Guy at the pump. Olathe. Olathe. Uh-oh. Six. It's been, yep. Yeah, it's been removed. <laughs> all right. Would you like another one? Ooh, uh, let's go. Ooh, married man for lost friend. I don't get that one, but St. Joe is a weird town. Miss talking to you. Married 50-year-old for a married female to chat. So it's a, a guy in a relationship, married. Married 50-year-old wants to talk to another married lady. Can we reference your personal life? This seems like a really good... Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, what are you going to gain from this? Like, unless Just... you're, Are you looking to cheat on your wife with a woman who also would have to be cheating on her husband? Like, why? And this was posted seven hours ago. Oh, uh. so this is a misconnection. So there's a miss talking to you like that yeah. used to happen. Yeah. So he had this woman, presumably, well, he, they were both married. Correct. It ended, and now he wants it back. Mm-hmm. They got it. I hope he was fucking her. I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm all about sanctity of marriage, and I'm not trying to promote cheating, but why else would he be doing this? All right, I don't, this guy's weird. I told you, St. Joe's a weird town. Let's yeah, move on. Yeah. I went to school in St. Joe. I have the right to talk. Fast food everywhere. Um, oh, hot handyman, that's for sure. That's. You want to do top needed? Oh, yes. You do need a top. North of the river, that's close to me. I was supposed to three hours ago. <laughs> and what do we got here, Juanito? Top needed north of the river. Top needed tonight for uh, this man uh, MWM, so man, woman, man. Man, woman, man, that makes uh, sense. 50 year old, chubby bottom. Uh, can uh, be more if you want. Curious. <laughs> An experience or experience. experienced. Okay, not picky. They don't give a, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> as long as you're a bottom and you're chubby and you're 50 years old, tonight there is a, are of as of January 2nd uh, on Craigslist. Uh, there is a post that's uh, they just need a bottom, so and they'll get it worked out. They'll get it worked out. Doesn't matter you, if you're inexperienced or if you're experienced. I'm assuming probably if you're inexperienced, it'd be probably even better. So this is a married couple, um, and and this person hosts. Yeah, they'll oh, host. Yeah, they got a nice house. They host, and uh, let's chat and see uh, if we can uh, work something out. See this one, I don't think you get stabbed on. No, when this you time you concept, no you get stabbed, cause, but just you don't think this is just a horny couple. No, you will, no, not stab, not stuff, stab right? like with a knife, but stab <laughs> with a penis. You're gonna get stabbed with a penis. Well, I think. Well, yes, but in most of the Craigslist, I think you're gonna get stabbed with a knife. I have and a this crazy one seems legitimate. Yeah, I have. If you want to know, I have a crazy Craigslist like story. Were you, were you the bottom? No, I bottom <laughs> a girl. You what? I, I there's a sto- I have a. What'd you say? I bought him a girl. Oh, I thought you said I bought a girl. Oh, like, yeah, that oh, too. Okay. I bought a girl as well. Way to go! Um, I don't know how you do that. But yeah, if you need a fifty year old, do you? So if you know anyone. No, this chat I am uh, not too interested in. Not one. Wait, what are they looking for? They're looking for a uh, bottom, or a top, top needed, or a chubby bottom. What the fuck is this top needed? Okay, so the title. Wait, what the fuck? That doesn't top make any needed, sense. So they so, want a chick. Okay, no. So top needed. Top is someone who rides them top. So the so, so the title says top needed. So I'm guessing that it was supposed to be clickbait. So it get people to click on. Oh, like sweet, like because like there's never no one ever needs a top. People always need bottoms because you know what bottoms and tops are, right? 
Okay, so I tops are the people. Okay, so this is a gay. This is a gay term. All right. So, so th- this is two gay guys looking for another gay guy. So I'm I'm assuming it's two men who's gonna fuck a woman, but they also need one to be a bottom, a chubby bottom. So what I'm thinking is that they so they titled is, it the top. Yeah. So they titled the ad top wanted because like oh sweet everyone wants to be a top because top is the person who is the one who's fucking bottom is the person who's taking it at the butt mm. so they were like okay but then in the in the description it says like chubby bottom they want someone who's the bottom who's a, who who will take in the butt no, I but think who's also chubby the description, they're letting you know that their bottom is chubby or no cuz like to, top needed tonight okay no i was right. i guess you're right top needed for tonight I guess they were describing who they are. Right. They, he's a they're, chubby bottom. They're just being on. They're letting you know what you oh. get. Oh, they're using my technique. They're just, here's what you hey, got. Hey, this is what you got. It's here or there. <laughs> you got a you know what? Bottom. That's what. Like, can we talk about that? <laughs> how how savage I think you are, and how awesome. Like I love your style because like you're just like the most honest person in the world. You, you can't let them down if you let them know before. You know? That is that is so <laughs> true. You're just like so. You like set I'm everything up for interested. not for nothing. <laughs> you set everything up for nothing. It's awesome. Well, the one chick that hit me back with like want to be friends with benefits before I even got there, I was like, "Yep, this is my kind of woman." <laughs> like we're looking for the same thing. Same right? thing. Did you uh, did you need another cerveza? No, I'm no, you're good. Okay, I hadn't seen you drink for a minute, so that's the reason why. Well, I got one empty. This one's empty. He caught up. I caught up, Senora. So yeah. I was just making sure that you didn't need one. Then I no, can. I'm like I could ramble for a quick minute too if you I need to. I do have to use the restroom in a little while, so save your ramble. Okay, I'll save the ramble for a bit. Um, so do you want to? Let's look at another one. Yep. Let's see. Blunt buddies <laughs> with a smiley face. <laughs> Boating couple looking for hot handyman. Do you want? <laughs> is that the one you wanted to read? Oh no, chocolate sweetness. Oh, perfect. Lone Jack. There's no Ew. way this is a like an attractive black woman, right? Oh, no. Chocolate sweetness. Oh, that's what, she, that's what they want. Your skinny little fat butt. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read it? Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. We got chocolate sweetness from Lone Jack. Missouri. I, yeah, Lone Jack, Missouri. Thank you. I am missing my sweet chocolate sugar baby from the city. Dot dot dot. Your skinny little wrong fat. Your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrong use of your. Your skinny little fat butt was so much fun. I'm ready again. <laughs> you know what's the best is like how they how like they're like your skinny fat butt. They should put a comma if they're really gonna use this fat okay. butt. And We're... then and then they go like then they use the comma here. That's what makes it funny. Was so fun. That's that's proper, I think. You should at least put some comments or something in there to like break it up a bit. I would think. You can bring your new skinny chocolate. Is also invited. That's a great <laughs> one. You got any friends for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so he's basically just asking for prostitutes. Sugar yeah. babies are worth what they can do. You earn <laughs> what you get, baby. Well, that's. I think uh, that might be the new saying. Sugar babies are worth what they do. No way this guy gets anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's being screenshot. That's oh, that's man. great. <laughs> Let's see. You got the looking next for one. a third. Uh, looking for a Ku fan Ron. Okay, friend from Blue Springs. Well, beautiful stranger. Do you think he's looking for a Ku fan, or do you think they're looking for a Ku fan that's like Ron Swanson <laughs> from Parks and Rec? Which is kind of like Community. Uh, I never... <laughs> I heard you like Community pretty well. Just the rumor. <laughs> so. So. This is a funny story, guys. So, it a is. couple weeks ago, there was... I, I started talking to this uh, this girl. And when we uh, started talking, you know, we were like, you know, hey, you know, we're going to, like, go and we're going to hang out. And then... You know, like one thing led to another. And I go back to her place one night after we had gone and gotten dinner. And we were sitting there and she was wearing just a robe with nothing else. And I was sitting at the edge of the bed and Community was on. And I have really never, ever watched that show before. And when I was watching it, 
I could see her that she was kind of like moving around a little bit. I think she was wanting to like, you know, like maybe do it, but I, I'm like really not. It's not that I don't, it's not that I didn't want to. It's just that I just didn't want to. And I knew she wanted to do it, but I just sat at the edge of the bed and I just watched community for maybe, maybe an hour and a half. I watched four episodes. So that was a thing. And she was like, so you came all the way here and like, I was about to get, I was getting up and I was about to leave. And she's like, you, you got, you drove all the way here just to sit at the edge of my bed and watch community. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, that's never happened before. And I'm like, yeah, this hasn't happened before either. Like, and it was just this really awkward moment for both, for both myself and her. And that happened. And, um, that's like why I like community and community is okay. It's an all right show. Like it, um, I get the point of it, but for me, for me, it's not the uh, best. I, I was telling him the story about when I went over to that girl's place and I sat at the edge of the bed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What was your thoughts on that? Like on that story when I told you that maturity, Ooh. haven't known you that long, obviously. So I don't have like the full growth of you as a person but you got there you knew what you were gonna get i mean if you wanted it you'd had it and she's laying there and you just sat there and watched the community <laughs> you're just like i'm good <laughs> thanks though like not just looking for that easy strange anymore <laughs> yeah it was she's a beautiful girl she's a nice cute girl mm-hmm. beautiful dark-skinned chocolate girl but oh oh she she wasn't white no. Weird. Okay. <laughs> I think everyone knows who watches, who listens to this podcast knows like day black girls. And if you don't know, you now you know. So this podcast is a lot more raw versus my vlogs. My vlogs, I don't express this kind of stuff. I don't think it's really important. That's why I wanted to be on here. Yeah. This is the more raunchy. This is the real Juanito. This is the real Juanito. Yeah. This is Juanito. Juanito. Or, uh, go Juanito or go. Wilmer, Wilmer Juan Carlos Tenoco. That was my birth what name. Said. That was well, my birth name. One more time, one more time for the ladies. Wilmer, well, Juan Carlos Tenoco. I'm just gonna call you Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Yep, because that's like Juan Carlos Stanton. You're making a lot of money right now, Mister Stanton. <laughs> like no, Juan I Carlos thought, is I like. I thought it was an interesting story to, to interrupt you. Like you went there. You, like I said, you knew what you could have had, but you just sat there. You, you took in the situation, read the possibilities, and was like. Not only am I not going to do it, I'm also not going to leave and just completely be a jerk. I'm going to leave her very confused, <laughs> but not be a jerk about it. <laughs> like, I can't imagine her thought process. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm sure like you came a... all the way over here. I'm here naked, and you're just like, eh. Um, okay. Like, I don't need to right That's now. when you'd be like, I got this buddy I can call, but I'm not a... <laughs> I am good. I'm I'll see ya. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to ride this one out and go home. And I remember just walking to my car. Just like, huh. Huh. This is where I'm at in my Growing life. Growing up and you're not happy about it. Yeah, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Why am I like this now? Mr. Juanito has his, uh, has his semi-official birthday. I won't say it's official because there's no way it's the actual day. <laughs> but uh, had his semi-official birthday this last uh, New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. Mr. 30? Third years old Mr. now. Mr. Three January, Zero. Uh, January 1st was my birthday. This is January oh, 2nd. New Year's Day. Yeah, New Year's Day is my birthday. Oh, yeah, New, New Year's, Year's Eve, Day. everyone celebrates it. So it's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, always out. assumes. Yeah. But yeah, I'm 30 years old. New Year's Eve and the next day on your birthday. Huh? Nothing. Moving on. No. But so yeah, you're 30. I'm, I'm 30 now. 30. It's interesting. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel any different. I don't know like why I was like so high. What do you think about. the chances are you're like 26? There's a good chance. I think there's. I think it's about a good. I'm not, and I'm not joking. There's probably a good. There's a good solid like forty five percent. Yeah. Percent. Court or a government issue birthday. They don't know his birthday. They just said, eh, fuck it, <laughs> January first. That's close enough. Like you know what? Because like in the long the scheme of things, would you rather know my birthday? Or would you rather be American citizen? I would be American citizen in my opinion. We love Trump. Yeah. 
Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but no, it was one of those weird things. You're just like there, and even like my, my my picture of my citizenship that has my my plaque and everything. I'm like it has like this guy's hand on it, and like my face is like I'm like looking over to the corner because <laughs> like someone's like because like someone's like said something to me. And I'm like what? And then they took the picture, and then that was like my picture. Like, I'm not even looking in the yeah. camera. It's just like the whole thing was you. all fucked up. Well, like you know, like so John John David Clauser is my name now right. like my birth name or right. not my birth name but yeah. my legal name my government name yeah my legal name the thing is like my name has been changed three times so wilmer one. wilmer juan carlos de noco was my birth name okay and then when i was going to get adopted my parents were also going to adopt another boy and they were going to name him daniel jeffrey and i was gonna be john david and when they were doing the whole paperwork they realized that there was only one boy and but they had like two names and so they were like oh uh, we don't know so they just picked Daniel Jeffrey. So there for about eight months, my name was legally Daniel Jeffrey. And then you didn't like it? And no, like, like well, that's not, that wasn't going to be his name. And oh. like, his name was going to be John David. And so like, my parents like had to go and like, legally. cause it was like, it was in Spanish and in English, all this paperwork. Okay. And so they had to go through it all over again and change my name again. And it took another eight months for me to like, so for eight months I had. So they did all that, but they didn't send you a happy birthday text? That's okay. They're, in, they're, they're in Turkey. I mean, I don't expect them to. They're out of the country. Like, they're in Turkey. I at least got an email from my dad, like, about a week late. So, keep an eye on that inbox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. But I'll send you something. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Real funny gif. You'll really like it. He's just, like, some, like, two giraffes fucking or something like that. <laughs> no, that'd be the one you send. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That, that's something where I would Followed send. Followed by uh, Taylor sending, like, that killed or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I wonder how much she actually reads of, like, the stuff that None. we... Insert generic response here and mm-hmm. move on <laughs> and she moves on which is totally fine as long as she's involved in the text that's all that's all we really ask i do think it'd be fun to get matt in there oh dude do you have matt's number i do can you add it like are you can do i have to add do i have to have the number to add it i don't know how that works but no i definitely have matt's number we he and i have texted before uh, really yeah the night of the uh co-worker birthday party so we're doing something right now so we're trying to add someone else to our group text Ooh, pop tart text me we can add pop tart no you don't want pop tart why no, is he, is he, he, is he as dumb as me he's not oh he doesn't no he's not oh, he, he, he's pretty similar to you actually <laughs> <laughs> college I, educated I, I, but i wonder <laughs> i always wonder how i i act goofy on purpose and i act a lot of what i do is just on just to see oh yeah the when Phil hears us on the line you're like making child noises <laughs> you're like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which to me like i don't think i'm really doing much of anything but i can see on the outside it's like you're kind of retarded like what are you doing but like i always i always imagine what people think of me when i like do that kind of stuff and i'm like wait what the you're fuck? smarter than those people oh yeah. are you thinking like work or just in the world i i know i wonder what they think like, like phil oh. and linda all of them like 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 what? Like he's what? Like, he does all this stuff. Cause like my like if you looked at my but, resume, it's like that. Like I've traveled a good amount. I've filmed. I've done a lot of film stuff all over the world. I I couldn't do this, but imagine if we gave a hundred percent of that job. Like mm. we'd either be running it, or they'd be so frustrated with all of our ideas, they'd fire us. Like we yeah. have to do that <laughs> to keep them happy. Like it, they don't realize that. Like they, we're dumbing ourselves down for you guys. Yeah, like we understand how you like to manage people. Yeah, it's and it's like, not intelligent people. Mm-hmm. And we get it. <laughs> like, we understand. I accept it. I'll but get... like, if you were to give us these, <laughs> yeah, like, like let us have a little bit of power. Like you, me, Marcy, we would turn that shit around. Yeah, the thing would we be can include um, Taylor. I don't care. I don't know how much she has to add, but. She can't hurt. Mm-mm. No, unless she could hurt. But it's like, but it's like I always wonder what people think. I'm like, wow, like what the fuck? Like his resume says this, but yeah, he you, acts like this. Yeah, a lot going on, <laughs> on the resume. <laughs> but like, what are you doing, dude? Like UCLA and your what are you doing back there? Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. Like I live like a pretty chill life, so it's like I. There's no reason. Yeah, growing up's not fun. I've tried to avoid it. Yeah, I feel like I've done. Th- Pretty well so far. And Look at me. I'm like I'm in a I'm on the third floor of a fucking mansion, mansion. doing a doing a podcast in a studio that took me like what took us like what four hours to set this whole damn thing <laughs> it up. It was a little bit of a work. In Which is all all in good though because we uh, are doing a podcast and. What's a normal podcast run time wise? Um, I normally would run an hour. I don't know. I I 
put a stopwatch on. We're at 46 minutes here, but I think oh, we shit. did a little bit more. We did a little bit more, so we're, like, we're probably at like 52 minutes, I'm guessing. Well, if you, so. according to Phil, we're pretty good at bullshitting and grab-assing. Yeah. That's pretty much what podcasts are, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And, grab ass and, and we did it for an hour. I was always, I was a little worried because like, I haven't done a podcast in about two months. So like this was the first one, and I, the last one I did was I was yeah, a like guest. Fifteen minutes in, well, that was my last video. Yeah, like, <laughs> and Liam, I only did one. I only did one video, and I had a bunch of other stuff up. Like, oh yeah, we haven't even watched that. Yeah, oh, was that so. sports? We should do sports next. We gotta do our football oh, picks later. Okay, you want to do football picks now? Yeah. We okay, can do so football picks. Um, we're talking so we NFL should, playoffs. Folks. Okay, so we should we should explain. I'm I as though I'm I'm, I'm wearing a Chiefs hat right now, but I Very got a nice it. Chiefs hat. Thank you. Uh. I bought a, a Chiefs dad. hat. I bought a Chiefs hat, a dad hat, and I also bought a like a ski hat that has a Chiefs thing. But they're really nice. Very quality. nice beanie. Yeah, they're very nice beanies and a very nice beanie and a very nice dad hat. Um, I but I like Kansas City Chiefs. They're they're a good team. They're my second favorite team. My first is the is the Rams, Los Angeles Rams, just because like all my teams are Los Angeles. I think everyone knows that. But you are a Kansas City Chiefs fan, correct? And you guys have – the thing is, like, I love talking about we Kansas City. Patrick. Be- I love talking about Kansas City because it's it, – this it's year – It's never been so fun. Yeah. It never had this kind of light about us. And you have Patrick Mahomes, who's thrown 50 touchdowns. Magic. For over 5,000 yards. Yep. Just That's ridiculous. Just total yardage, including running and touchdowns. He has, like, 5,350 yards and 52 touchdowns. Damn. That's running and passing. But still, that's 52 touchdowns. That's – that's probably more than half the NFL. I don't know that. Not a, not backed up, people. I'm not a stat guy. That's a gut feeling. I'm just saying that my <laughs> quarterback has done a lot. 52 touchdowns from is... Patrick and, like, only 15 picks. I remember looking in the beginning of the year. I thought it was going to be a rebuild. I was like, if he goes 30 and 15, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> 50 touchdowns later. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. What the fuck? So did you even – Imagine that he would be he'd be throw. No, I was skeptical of the, the pick. We traded two. I mean, we traded a first round and had to trade up with our first round just mm-hmm. to get him. And Alex Smith is a professional, and I thought he was functional, but now he's a bum and get him out of here. <laughs> Mahomes magic. But no, I I, I questioned one the, the best pick. Moves one of the one, best moves yeah, that Andy, they've done. I assume that's an Andy Reid move, so I assume he knows what he's doing. And um, how do you feel about the? I know it's probably uh, it's kind of old news, but how do you feel about the whole hunt thing that happened? Oh man! And well, whole... as a guy who hated, I think I started it off with the first GIF when it was a picture of him and like Janikowski and Suck Up or whoever the kickers are these days. I was like NFL's best kickers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's. I think it was very wrong what he did, and he deserved what he got. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Having said that, I wish we had that ball player still on the field with a different personality that was more acceptable in this day and age. But he lied to the team, and he was abusive to a woman. Amen. Has to go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. That's where we go. <laughs> yeah. that's, that, that's, that, that's the perfect answer. But, yeah, so as a, so what's your predictions for? Oh, we got – do you want Chiefs predictions or just wild card? Wild card. Let's okay. do wild card first. All right, first AFC. Because Chiefs got a first round bye. Yeah. Chiefs have officially made it to the second round of the 2018-19 playoffs. Booyah. ching So first game we got Saturday. We got Colts at Texans. Colts coming in at 10-6. and six, Texans at 11-5. and five. Houston's only favored by a point and a half at home. We got Deshaun Watson having kind of an up and down. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. And T.Y. I'm going to say Andrew Luck mm. win. Because I, I, Andrew, I just think Andrew Luck's a better quarterback, even though he's been injured. And he was pretty much injured this whole half of the season. I think he's a so better quarterback. He's smarter. Here. He went to we, Stanford. He just has that more of intelligence. So even if he's injured, he still plays smart because he's in, he's super intelligent. He's really, he's really weird. Have you ever listened to when he talks? Racist? Yeah, that's racist. Yeah, I'm against a brown person when I'm brown. <laughs> Andrew Luck is white. I know, but like you're saying, he's only Watson good because he's though. smart. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, I get what you're saying, but I'm. This is also a. This is also a brown person saying this, so I can say whatever I want. Well, fuck yeah, you can. Yeah. It's 2019 America. 
do what you want. Uh, Trump's in president. If pre- Trump can be president, I can Government do shut down. I don't think that means he's president right now. <laughs> Amen, I don't even know what the shutdown means. Yep. I just know nothing's happening. Yep. I read an article. We're doing on, more than they are on Snapchat. It said uh, state and law, like nationally funded parks, are getting shut down because there's poop everywhere. Like the toilets stopped working, Uh-oh. so the guys just started pooping everywhere. And they shut shut them down. <laughs> so Colts <laughs> Texans, you're taking Colts. I'm gonna take Colts. All right. Well, we're taking a dollar bet on all four games. Okay. I'm taking Texans for okay. sure. Like easy money there. <laughs> Fuck you. We got we got the Seahawks. Sorry, the Seahawks, <laughs> Seahawks. And, and the Cowboys. Both ten and six. Seems to be at the Cowboys. What you thinking? Cowboys favored by two. Really? Says ESPN. Don't know how official okay. that is. So we got we uh, got Prescott versus Dak Prescott versus, versus Wilson. Wilson. Russell Wilson. We got some Ezekiel Elliott and some Amari Cooper, Cooper action. Yeah. Uh, Seahawks have usually a pretty good defense. Don't know who's on there anymore. And then like and then they got a Baldwin. Baldwin's pretty good. And then um. And Russell Wilson, <laughs> again, <laughs> that's their team. <laughs> but uh, they also, um, the the Cowboys have that uh, middle linebacker, that that rookie. Sure. Film, film, film something. If you say he so. He went to like, he played like eight-man football. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like up he played, north somewhere. Yeah, played eight-man <laughs> Wyoming, football in Wyoming. Or, yeah. It was like somewhere like that, north, like, Minnesota, Wyoming. Fuck? And he walked on at Boise. and Awful lot of procrastination. What? Okay. Um, I would say because <laughs> I'm giving you first pick and I'm taking the other team every time. Every time. Because <laughs> we're doing a one dollar yeah, bet. Doing okay. One dollar bet. Um, Big money here, folks. I would say you got Cowboys s- by three. You're yeah. giving me the Seahawks. Yeah. Nice. I'm two for two. <laughs> You're fucking no. Ooh, this is a tough one. Sunday matchup. We got AFC rivals or AFC West rivals. Los Angeles Chargers okay. slash San Diego Chargers yeah, and the like Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I would love to see the Ravens win, but I just don't think they have the manpower to beat Their defense Chargers. is stellar. Lamar Jackson seems limited. Very. He's a great athlete. But not a quarterback. But not a quarterback. Wait, is that racist? No. They're fine. Okay. You're good there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, Baltimore <laughs> is apparently favored by two and a half. I wouldn't really? have thought that. I guess they are home because Chargers are the uh, the uh, twelve and four wild card team because they played in the same division as us. Yes. But uh, who you got there? Twelve and four Chargers, ten and six Ravens. Say Chargers. Philip Crimea Rivers, Chargers. Old Man Gates, Chargers. Chargers. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't feel as confident on that one, but I do get the point spread, so that's not. Well, I do get the the team people picked. Ooh, I'm taking the last one, Eagles Bears, the Bears. <laughs> we talking about the Bears? But you don't think fo- uh, Folds can? Nope. Matt Nagy knows everything he needs to know about Nick Folds <laughs> and how to stop him. Yeah, but no, I, I can got, see that. Yeah. I got a buddy. He's a Bears fan. He's convinced this is the team. Khalil Mack. Really? Yep. He's, he's a, convinced, convinced that the Bears are the team. They share. no, this is the team for the Bears. Just oh, like really? this is the team okay. for the Chiefs because we haven't. I mean, we had Alex Smith for like five years. <laughs> Limited. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Really great first two months. Every year, come cold weather, he throws it about. It's about as far as I can. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not very far. No, it's awful. You're it's 20 weird. yards down the field. He's like, come on back. Turn around. <laughs> back at the dark. Tyreek's like, fuck. I'm already 40 <laughs> yards down here, bro. But Mahomes just throws it down the field. Yes, Mahomes has a fucking lethal weapon. Okay. But yeah, so I'm taking the Bears. The Bears. You picked the Chargers. Yes. You picked the C. No, you picked the Cowboys. And the Colts. Oh, I got four for four. <laughs> Feeling good. You feel that strongly? I mean, I really don't care about anything until the Chiefs play. But uh, as far as meaningless playoff football goes, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I could give you a full breakdown of the Chiefs' offensive strategy of what we're going to do and how they think they're going to stop us and we're, it's not going to happen. But everything falls the shit if our defense gives up. 50 points like we are prone to do and then lose the game for the first time in NFL history. 
after scoring 50 points on offense. <laughs> but um, but I'm content with that for football talk. I just noticed you got a, I was like, um, well, video. I, I thought, well, I had that, but if you want to, I thought we would do Ooh. just one more misconnection, and okay. then we would uh, call it a night. You would. That's I'd fine say. with me. All right. So let's find uh, North so, Oak no, Glory no, Hole. Hole. That's the first one I saw, too. <laughs> wow. So we have North Oak Glory, Glory Hole. Hole. So we'll pick three, and then from those three, we'll pick which one we think are the best the Fair. best one, and then we'll read that one. That works for me. Okay, so that's one of them for sure. So That one that, just says lost. That has my, my interest. Lost. Okay. Yeah, it is. And then. What to do things. Missing young CD, <laughs> my, my, my special, special girl. girl. <laughs> oh man, that's that's a hard one. My so, so these are like guys who think this is gonna. These are mostly just dudes, yeah. Like for sure. result in something? I don't know. I doubt it. I highly well, doubt. Well, this is basically what I did on my text on New Year's Day. I yeah. know, I was just like, hey, what's up? You want to come over? What's up? <laughs> oh, what are you kinda doing? Kind of drunk and bored. What are you doing? Oh, you don't? Okay, it's cool. Moving on. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, North Oak Glory Hole, that's definitely worth a read. Okay, let's see so that is that a guy inviting a woman to his glory hole, or is that a woman ready at a glory hole waiting for dudes? Because if so, they're going to have very different results. <laughs> very <laughs> different. Oh. <Okay. laughs> New address. Okay, North Oak Glory Hole. This is actually in Liberty. I guess there's North Oak in Liberty. New address. Same tranny behind my glory hole. Must be white, good looking, 21 to 50, just come and go. Must send face and cock pick for address. What happens when you stick your cock to that hole? <laughs> you get it sucked. By you something. think? <laughs> you don't think it's. I don't, I don't even know what I think would happen, but you think there's just some. So, tranny, so that's probably a dude who you, or used to be a dude and is now a woman. Yeah. Because all men are horny and they're trying to get laid more, so they realize they have to become a woman to get laid. <laughs> kind of. Something like that. Wow. I want to Pass. Read, I want to read. Hard pass. I want to read. Oh, man. Oh, he's got a good, he's got a fucking paragraph. My <sighs> special girl in North Kansas City. Take it away. <sighs> God damn yeah, it. He's got a paragraph. Yeah, I'm not reading that paragraph. shit. Uh, I have the biggest crush. On you all my life, and would love you to know this. I am so attracted to you, and I am ready to put my lips on yours and touch your sexy body in all the spots I have been fantasizing about and share bodies. Well, yeah, that was kind of given, lady. <laughs> this is a sad fat girl. <laughs> you, got <to> kn- <laughs> you got to know by now that I want you, and I hope you think about me like... Like I think about like you. Like I think about you. I'm so attracted to you in so many ways. I have never wanted any woman so... It's a dude. Yeah, of course no it's a dude. Why well, would it be a woman? Why would a woman be writing this? Because they want another woman and they can't find it. Mm, maybe. Shy lesbian. Very common. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. I've never wanted any woman so badly. You do something to me no woman has. <laughs> think we have i think we would be a great match and i think we would be a fit to, a great fit together i'm gonna fix this sentence for him <laughs> we could really have some fun i would always be there for you you know i am shy but all you got to do is make a move and i will show you i'm real and completely serious you have and will always be my special girl heart emoji man for a woman <laughs> Ugh. That's as good of a narration as you get right there, my yeah. friend. If that didn't get you wet in your in your panties, all right, that's a good thing. All right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, this is too fucking loud. So anyway, uh, we'll we'll work on that for next week. Uh, there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of kinks. It's uh, it's my fault. I'm a newbie. I don't know what's going on. A little up, just turned out a little bit. But... So um, we've reached the end of another podcast. Um, so I want to say, uh, Scott, thank you so very much for coming oh, in. And, uh, thanks for having me out here, man. Had a blast. It was awesome. And uh, we will definitely have to do this again. Yes. I yeah. will. Uh, 
I'll, I'll think of some new creative stuff. Maybe we'll get all the good old Pop Tarts out here. Yeah, we can get Pop Tarts. We need to have a good time. Do our pre show routine. <laughs> yeah, move everything around for about yeah. four hours, and then we'll do a podcast we'll be ready after to that. Roll. Pop Tarts is real good about doing nothing but looking busy. <laughs> really? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's, oh, that's his thing. Perfect. All right. Well, um, do you, I'm assuming you don't have any plugs or anything like that. Oh, no. I do uh, zero social media. Uh, follow me on Snapchat at go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't do any of those. I wish I had something to plug. I got nothing. All right. Follow Juanito at everything. His shit is funny. He's an entertaining man. Ladies, one day he said he might take his shirt off for an entire broadcast. Maybe. Probably Doubtful. not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can follow me all on John D. Clouser. It's all the same on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Um, if you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching, listening, kind of watching, then listening. There's a lot of kinks and things, but like, hey, this is a podcast. is better than nothing, right, guys? So I will see you guys on the next episode yeah. on uh, 115. So adios, guys, and be safe. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice.